We did it. Oh, thank goodness. That's how the deck was supposed to kind of work every time. <laughs>
we got a blizzard brawl. That's not great for us, uh, but I will go ahead and you know what? Just go for it. We're on the aggro side, guys. We're just gonna we're gonna do the best we can to make this happen. It's not the best plan of action, but we do really want to get double up, uh, basically two creatures out because if we don't, really and truly, our deck does very little. So getting two creatures out is like kind of crucial for us. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's attack. Can't do this because we don't we don't have an instant or sorcery that we could play So we obviously just have a bunch of blizzard brawls, but we've got no creatures to target so uh, We can't actually play them, which is a little unfortunate um, Okay That we can do um, So we can do this uh, We can Go ahead and activate this and put a counter here uh, and then we can Blizzard Brawl here, and then here. Yeah! Woo! We did it! We killed a Satessin Champion. That's asking so much to just kill a Satessin Champion. That seems so silly, but you know what? It's fine. Everything is fine. Exiling the Graveyard is a bit rough for us, but, uh, you know, it'll, it'll work out. I like to think. I like to think. Uh, if they... Oh, no. All right, well, now we're probably just dead. Uh, there's very little. Unfortunately, we just keep drawing lands, too, which is kind of surprising um, given how many non-land cards I feel we have in this deck. But they have stripped our entire hand and our board, and they have an Archon of Sun's Grace. So uh, that's a little scary. Um, I could technically put a counter on the Archon uh, just to learn uh, to be able to then deal with the Archon. That is actually an option for us, but I don't love that option if we don't have to do it. Um, we got a mirror made. Okay, so I guess now, though, is probably a good time to do it because we, we kind of have to. Let's go ahead. Let's learn. Um, what do we need to pull? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't even have enough for that. That's unfortunate. Uh, we could pull this one and get a creature card or... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's like the best option for us. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of other stuff going for us. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, let's get a creature card. Um, What do we need here? We need a lot, truthfully. Uh, I think it's actually this. The reason being, um, well, actually, no, that doesn't even work. Never mind. That was really that was not good. We should have put a one one counter on it. Uh, so the reason I was thinking that in my head and it didn't it wouldn't have worked out anyway. They probably have a way to deal with it. But the idea was very simply I could snakeskin veil and protect this because I thought, you know, I have enough mana to do so. But this hall of oracles is actually kind of working against us slightly in that direction simply because uh, it doesn't obviously produce mana on its own colored mana. Uh, we can filter it, but that doesn't work great for us so uh let's do this uh what do we want to pull here i think it's probably just this yeah uh i guess the destroy target enchantment would also be kind of nice but that's okay let's do this uh let's throw a counter on here uh and now we get to leave that up which is kind of nice um I mean, we're pretty dead here, truthfully, but let's let's see if we can finish this guy off. I doubt it. They just block, I assume. Um, but we do have the snakeskin veil, which is kind of nice because uh, it does protect us a little bit here. Ugh, not looking good for us. Not looking good at all. I think that's the the downside to this deck, obviously, is that if you do have a slow start like we did have where we really only had a single creature, um, the, the problem with that is that if they only have removal in their deck or if they just have a decent amount of removal, they can kind of deal with it. Uh, this is actually okay for us, though, because we do have the snakeskin veil uh, to protect this. So that did actually kind of work out. I think that still was the correct play in that instance. Uh, if you hear a dog barking in the background, that's my dog barking in the background. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Oh no. Oh no. We are not getting there. Uh, man, so unfortunate. We just aren't getting anything other than lands. So I think this is just a, a situation of bad draws, uh, but it's okay. It happens. Um, I think we just will lose, if I had to guess. They got eight damage on the field. Can they do a little bit more is the question. <laughs> well, they can deal with that. Yeah. I mean, even if we draw a creature, 
there's no way we can deal with all this because we just don't have enough. So I think we can just go ahead and safely concede. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game two. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, guys, here we are for game number two, and this is a much stronger start. This is definitely the kind of start that you want with a one into two creature, uh, and that way you can kind of make things happen a little easier. So we're definitely going to keep this, hopefully against a, maybe we'll say lackluster removal side, but it looks like green-black, which is the worry deck, uh, if I'm honest. That is the kind of deck that we have to be very concerned about, so we'll see what happens. Uh, also, quick reminder, guys, uh, it's getting on towards the end of the month, and I just want to remind you that if you would like to pick up this month's uh, proxy rewards from our Patreon, you're more than welcome to. We'd absolutely love to have you. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. It's also just a really nice way to pick up some really cool proxies, to be honest. Uh, and so if that is something that you're interested in, please feel free. Uh, I actually have the proxies for this month literally right here, and they look so sweet. So if you are interested, please, please, please feel free. Uh, we'd love to have you, like I said. Uh, and it is just a fun way to, to pick up some really cool proxies every once in a while. Uh, we're going to do this because this does give indestructible. We'll see if this actually works, though. It returns to the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it. Oh, no. Oh, does Death Touch... Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. Death Touch gets around it. Oh, no. I'm so smart. Uh, we're learning today, people. We're learning. All right. Fair enough. You got me. Uh, thankfully, we do have these Dragon's Guard el Dragon Guard Elites, so I'm not like terribly worried about it. Uh, I wish we could. We just can't. Um, yeah, we just throw this out there. So this is, I'm assuming, the Finn deck. Uh, the Finn deck is very good. If you don't know, Finn is basically like poison counters, but in standard. Um, and it's very, very scary. But hopefully, uh, we can kind of finish these guys off. Do we block is the question. Um, I'm going to say no. I don't love that, but I think we just say no. I assume that they would have something like that, but I think you just kind of have to let it happen. Um, I mean, we just play another Dragon Guard Elite, I think. And then do we attack in here? Um, no, I'm going to wait. I don't know if that's correct. I'll be honest, this this is a, a tricky one because we don't really want to trade off all of our stuff. And truthfully, I guess we should have maybe blocked last turn just to see if they had any of these feigned deaths left and kind of burn them. Oh, interesting. Uh, Seraph, huh? Whatever was put in a grave for the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on it. That's scary as heck. Uh, in that case, I think we... Oh, okay, they're not going to attack. Interesting. All right. Well, we definitely do this because uh, we kind of just have to. So we have to get rid of Seraph. That's there's no way we don't. Um, and then I guess we just pass. I don't know. This is so strange because these the death touch is like a major problem, but we can also kind of go over the top. Oh, we should have. I keep forgetting about this Hall of Oracles, too. It's a bit of a problem for us. Um, I'm going to say no blocks. I don't know if that's correct. Like, we're not going to die this turn. Um, but I have no other. I have no clue what they could have. Just have more Death Touchers. I hate these little guys. This is so annoying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fine. I am definitely not playing optimally here. Uh, that's a definite truth here. But we're going to do this. It's going to put some counters around and give hexproof. That's kind of nice. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We need to remember the Hall of Oracles. That's important. Um, view Battlefield. Okay, so that's quite a bit of damage but it's actually not enough i don't believe so that's going to be seven and seven fourteen we can say this can't block uh that's so we can go up to 15 actually but i still don't think that's enough um hmm 
We could do this. That would potentially help. Could also just gain two life. Um, hmm. These are all really interesting options. Uh, let's go this route. Let's just see. Uh, let's do this. Put a counter here. Let's do this. That one can't block. It's going to put counters around. Oh, I definitely miscounted, but that's fine. Um, I mean, that's a big swing. So now they do have to leave up some blockers here. Um, unless they just have fit. Well, no, even then they still have to leave up blocker. I mean, they have to leave up something is the trick here. And they are. That's fine. Either one of our creatures is lethal. So I think that that got us most of the way there. It's just the matter of can we finish this off, which I have no idea. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I will. I'm going to attack. We're going to do it. If they want to trade these off, if they've got feigned deaths and things like that, like they've got it, but we're going to need to make them burn it. So it looks like they don't. So that's going to kill both of our little guys. Um, and then we just play the monk. I don't know. That attack might not have been correct. I don't know, but they're going to be able to poke through the damage. So we kind of have to force the issue. Death touch really makes us have to force it. Uh, which is the scary part. Oh my gosh, they have binding. What a play. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's not good for us. Um, <laughs> all right. And as we learned, the sideboard does not have removal in it. I think that would be my biggest gripe with this is that we don't have removal. I think we need it. We need something. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. We're dead this, this turn anyway, so it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. We do get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, but it doesn't truthfully matter that much. Um, they all get death touch. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead here. This is unfortunate because I really felt like this list could outpower a good bit and it's uh, it's just kind of not. Um, we literally, oh no, we don't have to. Uh, that's fine. I think we needed to. I don't know. That's rough. That's very rough. Um, all right, they played out their hand, so. And we got that. <laughs> Oh, this deck is not resilient, I will say. It's very much a glass cannon, uh, which is fine. I think we're definitely not playing it super well, but it's okay. That is a second loss for us. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game three. Let's see if we can do this. All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game. Uh, this is a slow one again, but we do have the snakeskin veils to protect, so we're going to try um unfortunately i have not been playing super well these last two games it's early guys it's very early uh and that might have something to do with it but that's okay we're gonna do the best we can and just have a fun time doing it there's another uh dragon guard elite that's actually really helpful to have doubled up on that uh especially since next turn we can actually snakeskin veil and just protect both uh we'll see what they want to do this obviously being white black i'm assuming they've got removal yeah poison the cup that's fine it's not great for us but again we've got a way to 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 play and protect next turn so i'm not terribly worried about that let's get the hall of oracles down and let's play this uh and we'll just pass here so this is going to be very much a, de a defensive turn. I'm assuming that they might have another removal spell, and in which case we'll just uh, snake, snake skin veil. It looks like they don't, actually. That's interesting. Um, okay, well, we're not going to push it. We are just going to wait uh, and see what we can do. All right, great. It's very good. Uh, again, just going to wait. We're not, we're not going to push our luck. We're going to try and be smart about this <laughs> uh because i don't think we have been up until this point so let's see what they can do interesting okay uh do they have anything in their graveyard they do not okay cool so this is a cleric stack that's interesting um let's do this 
and we'll attack in. See what they want to do. Uh, they're not going to take it, so we're gonna we're gonna pass. So my thing is, I kind of want to wait and chip away at them until we know we can like really kind of get them, if that makes sense. And so far, we obviously can't. They're flooding the board. That's fine. <laughs> we can actually deal well with that, so it's not really a problem. Um, all right, cool. So another land, that's fine, um, and we'll attack in. The good thing is we're representing just a ton of damage here. Um, interesting, okay. Let's put some 1-1 one -one counters around. So we do want to put them here. Uh, we do want to, oh, we can't do, oh, only as a sorcery, six. So that's 14. Can we just win? I don't know. We're going to go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can. Go us. We did it. We did it. Oh, thank goodness. That's how the deck was supposed to kind of work every time. But unfortunately, we didn't get there until that time. But hey, it worked. Let's talk about this deck, guys. All right, so uh, as far as the Lesnia Magecraft goes, I think if you were a better player than me and a more patient player than me, you would have probably had a better outcome than I did. Uh, we, of course, lost two games and then did get that final win, which is perfect. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, that that kind of gameplay that where we just kind of put stuff on the board, protect it a little bit, or at least represent protection and then just get a big attack in. That's all we really want to do. That's the main goal of the deck. And it worked out great in that scenario. However, uh, unfortunately the first game, I do think we had some bad draws in that first game. We kept drawing land and we didn't really have any backup creatures. Maybe that was a bad keep on my end because the deck is so cheap you can mulligan relatively aggressively, I think. Uh, and I didn't do that. Um, I think because I had a creature, because I had ways to deal with, or ways to pump it up and get some extra value off of it, I was feeling like, you know what, I'll just leave it. I think it'll be okay. Obviously, it wasn't. Game two, I definitely misplayed like a lot. Uh, I know I missed a number of things, but you know what? It was still a fun deck. I really like this one. Uh, I would definitely suggest it because a lot of it isn't all that expensive in terms of wild cards either because it's a lot of just combat tricks, uh, which is great. So if you're looking for just a really aggressive intro style list, I do think that this one's great for you. You do have to learn when to play things and when not to. I think that's a really big piece to this list that um, does take a little bit of finesse, a little bit of knowing the opponent's lists as well, uh, and knowing when you can be more aggressive or when you can't. And I think removal obviously plays a big part in that. Uh, but regardless, a very fun list. I hope you guys enjoyed this one despite all the misplays. It's early, guys. I'm so sorry, but it was still a really fun time. I love you all very much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I cannot wait to come back and have some more gameplay videos for you guys.